Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. My name is DRL, and we are back with some Clash Royale, folks. All right, cool. So we're going to recap this deck that we've been using a few weeks ago. It's done pretty good for me on the ladder, right? When I first started using it, it was a season reset. It was about 48, 4,900 trophies, and the deck has gotten me up to over 5,400. So we're going to show you a couple replays in this video, and we'll go over the thought process when I'm using this deck, and then hopefully you guys will have better success with it. Remember, I'm not the best player, I'm not the worst player, I'm just like you, an average player, folks. So if you are a pro, you'll do better with the deck. If you're not as good, then you'll do good with the deck as well, because it is proven to be used on ladder. And if you're just like me, then you're going to be a okay, all right? All right, so before we even start the gameplay, I'm going to throw a timestamp on the screen, but we got to make sure we go over the gem of the day, folks. So I'm going to head right over to my Instagram page. If you haven't done so, then definitely drop that follow, because we're putting some pretty good motivational stuff on there, along with gameplay clips and, you know, other gaming interests that I have as well. So let's go into that. Watch carefully the magic that occurs when you give a person just enough comfort to be themselves very important folks to always be yourself and don't be around people that will make you be other than that right you you're your best version of yourself when you can operate the way you want to right and as far as the content creators because i know some of you guys do watch my content as well don't lose your identity chasing trends be yourself always create with passion and with your own vision right because it's your vision that's going to help you complete your dream and it's your dream that's gonna help you complete your happiness and it's your happiness that will help you complete you, right? So that's it, that's the gem of the day. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. And as far as the question of the day, let me know if you used this deck from the previous video and if it's done well for you or if you switched up a couple cards, all right? So now let's get into some gameplay. All right, here we go, we're going up against Mickey from the Drink Team. So right off the back, they're playing the Elite Barbarians at the bridge. We're gonna drop down the P.E.K.K.A gotta stop them things right away especially at max level they will get the tower so now we're gonna wait for the pekka to go across that bridge we'll let elixir count build up a little bit we're gonna play the e-wiz just in case they got infernal dragon or infernal tower they drop down a scar me we'll use the arrows so now we're looking pretty good we'll be able to get some damage done on this tower uh, we don't have anything to defend against the minion horde at the moment because the fireball wasn't ready but now that it is we can throw it at the minion horde if we waited beta about one more second, we would have been able to get the Dark Goblin as well. That would have been a really good trade, but we still end up being okay. So there goes the Hog. We're going to drop down a Mega Minion. A couple swipes, and we'll be able to get the damage done. They zapped it, which was a good play, right? It allowed the Hog to get an additional chance to get a hit. And we're just going to let the Mega Minion get as much value as it can. Let it go across the bridge. Now we're going to use the Ice Wizard to break down the Skarmy. And we'll let the count build up. Drop the Knight in front of the Ice Wizard. And uh, we might be able to do some splash damage on that tower. Nope, they dropped down Elite Barbarians. But this time we can actually defend a little bit better. Because we are expecting them. So we can drop the P.E.K.K.A. at a good position. And then we can use the Arrows right on top of the Minion Horde. So we got a nice fresh P.E.K.K.A. going across the bridge. With still about half of his HP left. We'll throw the Fireball at the Dark Goblin. We'll do damage against the tower and get rid of the Dark Goblin. Um, the initial idea was to maybe buy a little bit more time for the P.E.K.K.A. to get at least one hit in. Which would have been a lot of damage done. Alright, now we're letting the count build up again. We're getting ready for double elixir time. Alright, here we go. We're going to play the Ice Wizard. We'll slow down this hog and it will play the knight to do more damage against it as well that knight eight wizard combo is really good for six elixir you get a good combination of a slow down effect and damage throw the arrows against the skarmy and now we're going to try to sneak in our hog throwing the fireball we'll do damage against the mini horde and the elite barbarians And that's it, tower down. We got the Splash Brothers working their magic. Uh, we're bleeding a little elixir right there. All right, we play the P.E.K.K.A. We drop the e -Wiz behind it with the Mega Minion. The idea here is to be able to make a push against the tower. And we still have enough elixir to defend on the other side as well. So we'll get rid of the Dark Goblin. We're going to use the Ice Wizard to slow down the Hog. 
So now we got to push on both sides. We'll play the hog behind that P.E.K.K.A. And then we're going to try to clear out that mini hole with the fireball and do some damage against the tower. And then we got an Ice Wizard Knight push going on the other side. We'll be able to stop the Elite Barbarian. And the other tower is only down to 507, so we're in a really good spot. We'll play the P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. will get rid of the Elite Barbarians. We'll drop the Knight. We're going to do double action against the Hog. Not let it get towards the tower, right? That was the mission. Now we got the Ice Wizard Knight push going. And we're going to play a Hog on the left-hand side to try to finish. They played the uh, Skarmy along with the Log. Good play. Ice Wizard is going to break down the mini hard. And we're also going to use a Fireball against both towers. So now the tower's down to 90. They played the E-Barbs to the side, which would have been an instant win for them. Had I not had the Knight in rotation. We used the Ice Wizard to slow it down again. So now we got to stop this Hog. Mega Minion. Ice Wizard. And we dropped the Owls. Game over. So as you can see, this they had a couple counters to our deck right there. Skarmy. Minion Horde, Elite Barbarian. We were able to fare well with the number of spells that we had. And also, we had some good counters as well. All right, here we go. Another replay. This time, we're going against Orion. Not sure of the clan name, but big shout out. All right, so we'll let the count build up, folks. You guys already know the drill. All right, we'll play the Ice Wizard. And they're going to play the Royal Recruits. Now, you really don't see a lot of Royal Recruits on the ladder. But they are pretty good against the P.E.K.K.A. So we got to be very careful. And they play the Minion Horde. So we got to watch out with that as well. We use the Arrows to take them out. And then we got the Mega Minion on the left side to finish off the other three Royal Recruits. While we get a little push going now. We use the Knight and the Ice Wizard to clear it up. And then now we put in our Hog. With the Ice Wizard doing some damage against the Goblin Gang. I really like the Ice Wizard in this meta. Does a really good job against the Swarm Troops now. And they're playing another set of minions. So they use a minion and minion horde. So again, we're going to use the Ice Wizard. Does an incredible job. I'm telling you, folks. Very underrated in this meta. We'll play the Knight in front of the Ice Wizard. And now they have an Inferno Tower. So an Inferno Tower is a big problem. Um, especially, it, it's very, very strong in the current meta as well. Um, this card is not underrated. Everyone knows that the Inferno Tower is getting busy. After that buff it received, it's been doing a lot of damage to tanks. Alright, so they're playing the Royal Recruits now. We're going to back up our P.E.K.K.A. with the Electro Wizard. Just in case they're able to cycle back to the Inferno Tower, we're able to defend against that. And then we use the Arrows against the Minion Horde. We still got to worry about those other Recruits on the left-hand side. But I want to make sure my P.E.K.K.A. is okay. So right there, Pekka didn't survive, but we got a Mega Minion and Electro Wizard push. And we're able to get a Hog Rider in full health. So we're able to clean up that tower. Because obviously the Electro Wizard does a lot of damage itself. And it's going to do a good job of stunning and giving the Hog Rider more opportunities to get the hammer in. Alright, so now they're playing Royal Hogs. We're going to use the Ice Wizard to slow it down. And then we're going to use the Knight. Now Royal Hogs are very dangerous too. So we're going to have to use a fireball really quick over here to clean up the damage. And then we're going to use the arrows on the goblin gang. So we somehow survived a really crazy push. But, you know, with the right spell cards, again, we were able to get it done. Dropped the e on top of the minions. Worked out pretty good. We got to stop the royal hogs. This time we're going to use the P.E.K.K.A. And uh, at this point, what we need to do is defend. So there goes the wizard. Max wizard is a lot of problems too. And there goes the Infernal Tower. But we already got one tower down. So, we, again, we just got to win. Defend. Not do anything crazy or reckless. And we should be okay. So, right there. See, we cleared out the Minion Horde. Ice Wizard still putting in work. And there you go, folks. I mean, been using this deck for a couple weeks. It's been putting in work on the ladder. You can use it from Arena 11 all the way up to Arena 13. So, hope it does well for you. Let me know in the comment section what future decks you want to see. Let me know if you're going to use this deck. And let me know what other Clash Royale content you want to see in the future. And then what I need from you guys is to share this video with your friends. Share it on your social medias. And please, if you can, follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you have one of the two. And interact so we can, um, you know, enjoy some good times on there as well. All right. So, again, appreciate the con uh, support. If you haven't subscribed, then definitely do so. Slap that like button. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.